Good morning, welcome to Matt and Bow Outdoors. As promised, I finally got hold of the Spyderco Wolf Spider Knife. For those of you who don't know what the Wolf Spider is, it's a collaboration between UK bushcraft guru Ray Mears and the company Spyderco. Um, it's only available to buy in the UK from Ray Mears' uh, website, Woodlaw. I'll post a link for the website in the description. Um, so the cost of the knife then is about £150 in the UK. Uh, it is made of S30V steel. Um, you do get this quite unique box with Ramio's bushcraft written on the box there. On the back then there's just some of the specs there. So USA made, premium CPM S30V steel, green G10, it's got a compression lock and it just says reliable high performance. Let's have a look at it. So you get a set of instructions with the blade. Uh, I'll open them up for you. I'm going to try and hold them nice and steady. If you want to have a look, you can uh, you can read that. Hopefully, you can read that. So, if you want to pause your video now and just have a quick scan through, so you can read that bit as well. All right. Okay. So on the back, then you've just got a little about the a bit about the warranty. That's all there for you. All pretty standard stuff. So let's get to what we're here for. This is a Spyderco Wolf Spider. It comes in a no nonsense little plastic bag. Here we have it. Now I knew this was a small knife. I didn't quite realise how small it was till I got it in my hands. It's, you know, it's pretty damn small. So green G10. Um, spidey hole opening. It's quite a small spidey hole as well. So it's not not a problem. It actually comes. This is the blade then, so it's S30V, which is um, apparently a very tough steel. Um, you do need to be careful that you, you don't hit anything harder than the actual blade edge itself. If you you know hit a bit of metal with it or something like that, it's probably going to chip because S30V is quite a, a tough steel. So on the back of the blade then, you've got a nice big thick back spine on that. And I can tell by rubbing it across my finger that it's actually a 90 degree edge, so that will throw a spark from a fire steel. As you can see there, it's got Ray Mears' uh, Woodlaw logo there. You get a pocket clip there. The pocket clip is not reversible. It's literally that way around. You're not going to get it around any other way. Okay. So the lock itself then is a compression lock. There you go, it's next in. It's bloody strong, this lock. You've really got to push down. Put a fair bit of thumb pressure on that, push it sideways, and it releases. I'm sure this will free up a bit over time. So the blade itself then is around about three inches, so it's a very, very short blade. Um, if it was non-locking, it would be legal to carry in the UK. Unfortunately, it's a liner lock, so it's a no-no unless you've got a good excuse, like you're a bushcraft enthusiast, um, you know, instructor, but you certainly would not want to get caught carrying this around without a very, very good reason. So on the bottom then you've just got the, uh, the usual Spyderco blurb. So Golden, Colorado, USA, Earth. They've all got that on them. So what do I think about this blade handle? Uh, the shape of it. It's a really, really weird shape. Um, I was a bit sort of dubious until I pulled it out of the box and it's actually it's actually quite comfortable. You've got um, you've got a little bit of jimp in there. So it's, it's actually quite a pleasant place to rest your thumb and it's quite ergonomic in the hand. Um, one thing to note is it is right handed only, you notice you've got this um, cut out on the G10 there. It's, I mean you can use it left handed, it's just, just going to be a bit of a difficult one to get out if you're left handed. So there we have it, the Spyderco Wolf Spider. I've been promising myself one of these for a long time. Mrs Bear got me one for Christmas. And I have to say I'm really really pleased with it. Um, if you want um, someone to demonstrate actually testing the blade, there's um, an Australian fella that I watched. He was someone to demo and he was cutting through some Australian hardwood with it. It sort of flew through the wood absolutely no problem. He still managed to shave paper with it afterwards. I mean, the edge of you know this thing out of the box, I can tell straight away, it's, it's absolutely razor sharp. No need to touch it up on a strop or anything. Um, being scanty ground as well, obviously you have to lay the whole bevel of the blade on the stone like that. And it's already at the correct angle, too sharp. And so you don't need to sort of worry about how you're holding it. You literally just lay the knife down on the bevel. And stroke away on the stones, nice and easy. So I hope you've enjoyed my um, very short review of the Spyderco Wolf Spider Knife. Fantastic bit of kit if you can get one in the UK. 
Um, you know, if you're aboard, you'll need to get one shipped out from Woodlot. Obviously, I'll post a link in the description and the testing video from um, a friend in Australia. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon.